Providence landmark, and we use that term loosely, may finally be demolished. That's a landmark around here. The DOT says the Crook Point drawbridge should be torn down. After the bridge is declared unsafe, NBC 10's Ashley Cullinane is live in Providence, where some locals say, keep it up, Ashley. Yeah, you've seen this bridge, whether driving on the highway or anywhere on the east side. It's been stuck up like this for more than 40 years. It's more than a century old, and in a few years, it could be gone. It was 1908. A railway bridge opens connecting Rhode Island's capital city to East Providence, only to be abandoned 70 years later. Left in an upright position, the Crook Point drawbridge became known as the Stuck Up Bridge to its neighbors in Fox Point. That's where it sat, motionless in the Seekonk River for 43 years. It's an eyesore. The bridge is covered in rust and graffiti. People trespass and climb it. Providence police say the bridge even caught fire at least four times in the last five years. Now the Rhode Island Department of Transportation is debating its demolition, listing it in its 300-page transportation improvement plan. RIDOT says Providence and East Providence public safety officials want it gone. The demolition would cost $6 million and begin in 2026. Welcomed news for some people living nearby. I'd like to see more activity on the river there, and I think, frankly, that is a hindrance to it. With the support comes opposition from those who consider the defunct drawbridge a fascinating part of the Providence skyline. I was sad. I thought that the city of Providence would be bereft of a really beautiful landmark. The Providence Preservation Society says the Crook Point Bridge has a great deal of historic, cultural, and artistic significance. It says based on its age, it is potentially eligible for inclusion in the National Register of Historic Places. I personally believe that they should not get rid of it. I think that they should keep it here uh, because it is a landmark. Mayor Jorge Alorza says he does not want to see this bridge go and says the city should take ownership. Live in Providence, Ashley Cullinane, NBC 10 News.